Hello everyone, I'm Mirror Breaks, and tonight, it's finally time, we're going to open up a box of 2023-2024 Upper Deck OPG Hockey. So, yeah, I finally got the boxes, um, it's here, it's finally time, it's finally time to open something 23-24, so, just getting into the breakdown, in any given box, we should be getting one rare chase card, three numbered cards, one red parallel and six blue parallels, 18 retro cards, four playing cards, and then three OPG premiers. So for the numbered cards, that can range from something from the base set, the marquee rookies slash all-star cards, the retros, and then the OPG premiers. I'm going to throw all those up on screen because there's a lot to go through with this. Uh, so yeah, with just with the base cards, with the numbered parallels out of the way, there's a ton of other things that OPG has to offer. You got your photo variants, your OPG patches, the platinum previews, like and some other stuff like the Woody cards, the 3D Mikey rookies, the puzzle cards, and yeah, there's there's so much to offer when it comes to OPG. Um, and yeah, it's 23-24. We, you know who oh, Connor Bedard? He's in here. I would love to get a some variety of a rookie card from him. If we could get a numbered card, that would be amazing. But OPG is such just is just such a wide variety of potential. It's got there's so many great things you could pull from here. Like I'm not putting the weight on. This is not a Bedard or bust box. Like I don't want to view it like that because. OPG has a lot to offer. It has so much to offer. I mean, you know, given 180 cards in here, 600 card base set, there's so much to offer for OPG. But yeah, um, that's basically it. Not much more to say there. Um, the box cost $97. I got this just before the price went up. It was just before they announced that Bedard was actually in here because for some reason, even though they kept the same format as last year, they did not explicitly say bedard was in here and then once they did everybody shot the prices up so i got lucky i got this one and then just to look ahead a little in our next video i got oh, i just almost destroyed my background there but just for reference next video is going to be two boxes for now we're just going to stay with the one but yeah anyway that's opichi uh i'm going to fix the background and then we'll get cracking into this yeah Alright, so here's here's the packs, got our 18 packs, it's Ryan Nugent Hopkins on the front, I'm just going to get this prepared properly. Okay, uh, yeah, OPG, 23-24, super excited to finally open some 23-24. Uh, I've opened Series 1 of 23-24 just off on the side, but this is the first one that's going to be on the channel for 23-24, so let's just get into it. Okay, first card we got Evan Bouchard, very clean, very basic looking uh, cards, that's Opeachy, that's, that's what this is about, these are very, very basic, just very clean designs, so I'm going to take my time with the cards in this one, I'm going to go through the base, the next time we'll go a bit faster, but for now we're just going to take our time and enjoy it, so here's Evan Bouchard, James Van Riemsdyk, Dougie Hamilton, the good start on the, mar the marquee rookies, there's uh, Matt Patra, got off to a hot start with Boston, went to the World Juniors, that didn't end the way that Canada wanted, but still, he's a good player, I think, I think he's out though, I think he's having, sur he's having a uh, shoulder surgery, so unfortunate for him, we'll see where he goes from there once he comes back, but yeah, there's Matt Patra, marquee rookie, and then we got a blue here. It's a Caden Gooley blue, second year for him, and then our first retro, Jordan Stahl. I love the retro designs, and I definitely hope I can pull a retro black rainbow to 100, because that one looks even better. But yeah, there's a retro Jordan Stahl. Gonna finish it off with Noah Gregor, Isaac Lundestrom, Justin Falk, and Mike Hoffman. All right, second pack here. I started on the left side. Uh, the left stack, we got Mika Zibanejad, Ethan Bear, Tristan Jari, 
There is a six of diamonds of Jonathan Taves. Um, there's one thing I did notice because I watched a few videos of this. I I really like the Opeachy uh, card design, and I'm like, I saw this. I'm like, where? Why does this look familiar? And then it finally clued in. So I brought I brought this down with me, and yeah, it's 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 not exactly the same, but like, I'll get yeah, I'll try to get this one in focus. But yeah, that's. I don't know. It just reminded me of, of this. This is a uh, this is an Italian playing card. Got the uh, Ace of Suns here, but yeah, definitely the backs to me just kind of look the same here. But that's just me. I don't know if you if you think these look the same. Let me know. But anyway, so there's our first playing card. It's uh, Jonathan Taves. I do love the playing cards. They're uh, tiered. So yeah, he hasn't played in a while, Taves. But anyway. Um, First playing card, again, should be getting four of those. First ones of Jonathan Taves. Then we got a good marquee rookie of, or at least a decent one, of Matthew Coronado. And then a retro Scott Mayfield. Going to finish off with Jonathan Quick, Aaron Ekblad, Chris Kreider, Alex Tuck. Nothing crazy so far on the pack three. We got Elias Lindholm, just tra recently traded to the Canucks. He's playing against the Canucks there. It's cool. Blake Coleman. It's our first All-Stars of Chandler Stevenson. And we have a black border. So let's see who we got here. Actually, hold on. We will... Uh, I'm going to put this down. Sorry. Okay. Then we... Sorry, just going to get the stuff up from the back out of the way. We got Oliver Ekman Larson. There's Eric Halla. There's Brad Marchand. Linus Allmark. Josh Norris. Okay. So off the back here, we got Matt Roy Retro. And there are the blank backs. I did forget to I forgot to mention the blank backs, but um if you get two retros in a pack, one of them will be a blank back. So just to keep that in mind. Uh and let's see what our first numbered card is. Oilers. Oh, Zach Hyman. Nice. Not a bad, not a bad start there. So there's the retro black rainbow Zach Hyman. These will be numbered to 100. That is four of 100 for Zach Hyman. There, Oilers just had their winning streak broken. They almost tied the Pens from 92-93. It fell one game short, but yeah. There's Zach Hyman. That's our first of three numbered cards. Definitely happy with that one. Up. Uh, Pat, excuse me, pack four. Uh, just got the Zach Hyman card there. We got Darcy Kemper. There's Kirby Doc. Arturi Lekkonen. There's a Vinny D'Arnais marquee rookie. I do, it's the same design as the base cards, just as marquee rookie there, but still good design. I really like the cards this year. There's Vinny D'Arnais. There's our second blue. It's of Adrian Kempe, who's, is he on the Jets now? No, that's, uh, that's I follow and, uh, some other guys from the PLD trade, which is not looking good for the Kings right now. But anyway, there's Adrian Kempe. We got a Corey Perry retro there. Uh, just the base retro. Got Patrick Kane, not even on the Rangers, even though I think his OPG premiere shows him on the Rangers. There's Anthony Beauvillier. Alex Kerfoot still on the Leafs. And Matt Barzell. Uh, okay, we got Paul Stasny, Rasmus Dahlin, Alexei Torpchenko. Ooh, we got a, ooh, a green. This is a green. I think these are the 33. These are the 33, so let's see who we got here. Unless it's a platinum preview. I don't think it is, though. It's not. No, it's a green. This could be good. Oh, wait, is this... Oh, it's just the I got I got tricked out. I got punked there. There's that's the that's right. The uh, OPG premiers are uh, they're colored based on their team, so it just looked like a green base from the side. But apologies for that. There's Joe Pavelski OPG premier. Nothing crazy so far, but um, yeah. Sorry that 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 tricked me out there. Not gonna lie. So there's a first of three OPG premiers. That one's Joe Pavelski. Got a all stars of Igor Shosturkin, and then Alex Barkov retro, and we got ending off with Jordan Greenway, Jamie Drysdale, 
Connor Garland, and Nick Haig. Okay. There's Kyler Yamamoto, Johnny Goudreau, Jamie Alexiak. Not bad. There's a uh, our second playing card, two of spades, Matty Beniers. Uh, not a bad one there. I'm, I'm surprised of the many things that Connor Bedard does have in here. He's not a playing card. I know they'll put some rookie like in the past they put some rookies as playing cards, but not this year. But oh well, that's not a big deal for me. There's uh, Matty Beniers. We got a Drew Hallison marquee rookie. And then there's a nice one. There's a second year Owen Power uh, retro base retro there in the old. Uh, the old Black Sabres uniforms, we'll really like those. Going to end off with Neil Pionk, Dirk Grant, Vince Dunn, Danton Heinen. All right, so that was the first stack. Uh, just one numbered card so far. Uh, no rare insert card, no nothing crazy yet. Let's just keep plugging along here. We got Dylan DeMello, Anthony Sorelli, William Nylander. All right, didn't get tricked this time. Uh, there's a op second OPG premiere of Andre Vasilevsky. Um, it shows him in a like a practice uniform. I'm going to assume that's just the uh, the base one. I don't think like I don't. I'm not sure if there's photo variants of this. I know the um, the parallel, the number parallel is like the 75, and it's like it's very obvious. It's not. It's not. They weren't really tame about it so this is definitely i don't think this is anything but if it is i'll keep it off to the side there's andre vasilevsky opg premier nick suzuki all-stars we got a colton pareko retro again really really like these cards okay then we got finishing with nick ehlers brandon tanev andre burkowski and the checklist Next pack. Uh, we got Jack Campbell. There's Pavel Zaka still on the Devils there. Mikel Backlund. There's Elias Pettersson. All Stars. Uh, sorry. We got. A blue of Matt Zuccarello. Nice. We got a retro of Jason Robertson. Nice looking card there. Definitely not a blank back, but I'm just going to check anyway. Would have been really nice if it was. Uh, there's Jordan Eberle, Carter Verhage, Mason McTavish, Braden Point. All right, this is the halfway point, pack nine. see what we have here might be another premiere there is marcus stelic there's william eckland nick schmaltz yeah it's another premiere nice there's uh one of the better rookies uh zach benson i don't believe he has a young guns yet i think he's series two i'm not sure i've definitely in a little bit of series one that I've opened from 23, 24. I definitely pulled like a lot of the same young guns, which I will get to in a future video because I do want to open that on on here. But yeah, anyway, there's Zach Benson, OPG Premier. So that's that's our quota for the box. There's a not bad one. He definitely doesn't have a young gun yet. There's a Logan Cooley, uh, marquee rookie for the Coyotes there. Nice one to get. Then you got a Brendan Gallagher retro card. Can't wait to see what these will look like in platinum, but... Man, 23, 24 platinum. This is that that's gonna be expensive. Got Eric Goodbranson, Anthony Duclair, Nikita Zadorov, and Artem Zub. Past the halfway mark. Let's see what we got. We got Justin Schultz. Ryan Strom, Tyler Toffoli, there's Arthur's uh, Silov's marquee rookie, uh, got a red back here, I'm not sure if the blank back one of ones 
reds are still a thing. I definitely haven't seen that yet. Um, but we'll just see what we got here. We got nice color match, uh, red of Jesper Bulkvist. That's yeah, nothing, nothing there. That's just our red border for the box. So that's going to be our one. So neat looking one there at the very least, uh, Jesper Bulkvist. Then our retro is a second year card of Kirill Marchenko. Ending off with Josh Anderson, Alex Kalorn, John Tavares, and Josh Morrissey. Okay. Alex Barkov, Sam Steele, Logan Thompson, uh, All Star card. The Tage Thompson Blue. We got Simone Benoit. Uh, retro there. He's on the Leafs now. Nothing crazy there. He's been actually one of the better pickups that uh, Tree Living made in the offseason there. But yeah, there's a retro of uh, Simone Benoit. We got a checklist. Artemi Panarin. Andre Kuzmenko. Taylor Radish. And Ryan Lomberg. Last pack of the middle stack here. Um, still waiting on our next numbered card. Uh, a lot of the boxes I've seen kind of has like the numbered cards on the right stack. So we'll see. We'll see if that holds true here. Okay, what do we got? Uh, Nicholas Waugh. Andrew Kopp. Ty Delandria. Whoa. Cards flying here. Uh, we got a... Two of Diamonds, which seems a little bit disrespectful there. He's a really good goaltender, Ilya Sorokin. Um, I think that's our third playing card, but yeah, there's two of Diamonds, Ilya Sorokin. Nothing crazy from there so far. Got a marquee rookie of Billy Sweezy. Uh, I think I know somebody who would really like this card. Uh, I'll see, if, see what can happen with that. But anyway, there's Billy Sweezy, marquee rookie. Oh, nice. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good, so uh, we're going to end the video right here. We're good to go. No, I'm kidding. I, I would never, I wouldn't end the video. I wouldn't do anything greasy like that. We got the retro marquee rookie of Connor Bedard. There you go. Yeah, so honestly, that's real. I'm really good. I'm really glad about that. I'm really glad to just get that out of the way and could just go into the next box. I don't need to worry about getting a Connor Bedard, but yeah. Um,. I should sleeve this. I really should sleeve this. Hold on. <laughs> uh, it's nice. It's it's nice to see him in the flesh. It's nice to see him, you know, an action card. Him on the ice. Um, yeah, definitely really happy with that one. That makes me. That makes that makes all of this just a lot better. Um, but yeah, we can just go on now. Really, everything at this point is basically gravy. But I I would keep. I'm gonna keep this card. This is this is cool. This is you know. This is this is his first live card, one of his first live cards. So we may as well gonna enjoy it. Just take that. So there's our first uh, retro marquee rookie, and it's of the guy everyone's looking for, Connor Bedard. We got Yon uh, Jonas Brodin, Igor Shosturkin, Mikey Anderson, and Matt Zuccarello. All right, on to the last stack, and yeah, that last that. That previous pack was a certified uh, Jean-Luc Bedard pack there. I'll, I'll throw his channel in the description just because, you know, doing some really good stuff there. But yeah, that was that was definitely a pack he would have he would have loved to have there. But anyway, on to the last stack. We still need some good stuff here too. So let's see what we got. We got Matias Michelli. There's Jason Robertson. Okay, nice. Uh, came, sorry, it was a little early. Uh, got a John Tavares uh, Jack of Hearts, so that's that's our quota for the playing cards there. We got John Tavares Jack of Hearts. That one's definitely, I think, like the second highest or third highest tier for the playing cards there. Yeah, John Tavares. Got Nathan McKinnon All Stars, and this is, might be turning out to be a Blackhawks box. We got Wyatt Kaiser Retro Rookies. That's basically back to back there with the uh, the Retro Rookies for Chicago. But, yeah, not bad there. Not bad at all. There's Wyatt Kaiser. Got Matthias Ekholm. There's Jordan Osterley. There's Michael Bunting still on the Leafs. Okay, dude. Uh, Boris Kachuk. And JT Confer. 
All right, what do we got here? We got Adam Ernie. There's P.O. Joseph with the Robo Penguin jersey. Jordan Stahl. There's a Yuna Kopanen uh, marquee rookie. And we got a rainbow foil here. Uh, let's just go straight into it. We got, I think this should be number 350. Goalie? Oh, Levi? Come on, be Levi. Nope, that's okay. That's uh, th that's Askarov. That's still an okay one there. So there's a just a marquee rookie uh, rainbow foil of Yaroslav Askarov. That is 12 of 350. He's 30, so. But yeah, there's Askarov. Definitely, once Saros goes, uh, wherever if he leaves Nashville or if he goes somewhere else, um, Askarov should be the guy to take over. So just, again, goalies take time. Goalies are, it, it's so hard to predict like when, you know, how, when they'll come and when they'll fully develop. But yeah, there's a rainbow foil marquee rookie of Yaroslav Askarov. Oh boy, sorry about that. Uh, more more Chicago. Oh, jeez, I think I stole his box. I think I stole uh, his thing's box there. But anyway, there's a Nikita Zaitsev. Retro Rainbow. Going to end off with Nick Paul. There's uh, uh, Peter Kachekov, Matt Duchesne, and Kali Yarncroak. Four packs left. Still need uh, one more numbered card, one more, and then a rare chase card. So wonder, definitely wondering what that will be. Uh, okay. What do we got here? We got Jordan Cairo. There's Zach Cassian. There's Emil Bemstrom. Okay, that's funny. Uh, we got the base marquee rookie of Yaroslav Askarov. Uh, not a bad one there. Uh, Askarov. We got a JJ Moser blue. Uh, not sure how many more we still need. That might be the last one. But there's JJ Moser. Then a Riley Smith retro. I think I pulled... It was either him or like Marsha, so I got a retro blank back of him from 22-23 Opeachy. But anyway, there's Riley Smith. We got Liam Foodie. There's Matthew Joseph. JT Miller. And yeah, Jacob Truba. A couple packs left. Actually three, I think it's three. Let's see what we got. Let's see something here. See what that is. Jonathan Taves. Thomas Hurdle. What is this? Let's see what the, we're gonna slow. Let's just go right into it. We'll slow reveal it. Oh, is this? Oh, this is a. Is this a three D marquee rookie? Yes, it is. Okay, let's let's see who this is. Flames. Okay, Zary. I think Connor Zary. Coronado or Peltier. Let's see. Matthew Coronado. So there's our there's our rare chase card. Just gonna uh, yeah. So this is I think like a lenticular card. Like it's kind of like three. Oh yeah. You, I don't know how this will look like in the actual video, but just I'm looking through the camera right now and it it's do it's doing the thing. It's doing the dance there. You can you can see it. But yeah, there's a 3D marquee rookie of Matthew Coronado. That's not a bad one. He's not a bad rookie there at all. Um, yeah, I definitely like these cards. These are really cool. Um, yeah, would have been that would have been crazy if that was Bedard, but not gonna not gonna complain about this at all with uh, Coronado. So yeah, three D marquee rookie of Matthew Coronado. And then we got Artemi Panarin All Star. Then we got a Brock Besser um uh, retro in the retro jersey. There apparently something came out that uh. Vancouver's interested in signing Phil Kessel. If if they sign Phil and he's wearing this jersey, that's that's an immediate purchase for me. Just just want to state just want to state that for the record there. But anyway, there's a uh, Brock Besser retro, T.J. Brody, Trent Frederick, and then Yogis Yogis yes, Jonas Siegenthaler. Two packs left. Just need a numbered card and whatever it is, I will take it because this this has been a instant success of a first box. We got Nino Niederreiter, Dominic Kubelik, 
Eric Carlson. There's a Simon Edvinson, marquee rookie. Oh, this is a oh, this is a black. Uh, it looks like a black rainbow. So this could be, I think, an All Star or a marquee rookie. Oh no, it's just a retro black border. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Amazon is that Kopitar? No, who is this? Oh, it's Yanni Gord. Okay, that was no, that was horrible on uh, on the guessing there on my part. There's Yanni Gord. That looked the, his helmet looked like eleven, but that's seven. That looks like that's seventeen or th is he seventeen or thirty seven? But oh, he's thirty seven. Nice that they put the jersey number up there. Uh, that's forty nine of one hundred for. Yanni Gord, again, really, really like these cards. Definitely going to be going for these on eBay once this settles down. But yeah, there's Yanni Gord, uh, Retro Black Rainbow. Then we got Jared McCann, just a regular retro. Ending off with Ryan Suter, Olimata, Michael Amadio, and Jacob Slavin. Final pack, let's just see if we can get something good. I'm I am thoroughly satisfied with that. That is a really good box of Opeachy for me personally. Um I think that's just a blue. Looks like a blue. We got Marco Rossi. There's Shane Pinto. Riley Smith. That's that's a good way to end. Uh, Luke Hughes, uh just a base marquee rookie. He's been really good this year. For the Devils, even though the Devils have fallen off compared to last year. But yeah, there's Luke Hughes. Ooh, that's not bad either. I uh, got a blue marquee rookie of Will Cooley. Nice little color match there. Him and uh, Lady Liberty reverse retro there for the Rangers. That's a really nice one. So yeah, definitely nice blue there to end off with Will Cooley. You got Oliver Bjorkstrand retro. Definitely no blank backs. You got Bo Horvat. Elias Patterson, Nico Heischer, and ending off with Jonathan Huberto. All right, yeah, so that was box one of 2023-2024 Upper Deck Opeachy. So, yeah, this is this is a really good box. Like, just looking at our hits here, you know, 3D marquee rookie, and then I say two really two pretty good numbered cards, and then a really nice one with the uh, the Askarov numbered marquee rookie there, and then just going through like all the other stuff like there's just so there's so much stuff with opg like so so much cool stuff like this is just this is just such a collector set like you know playing cards i really like sorry definitely really like just the playing cards the, the john tavares there the definitely like the opg premiers compared to last year kind of forgot about the zach benson already that's uh another nice one there like definitely doing the team colors is a good is like a really good upgrade to it because I the gray border last year was kind of eh for me, but it was they were still nice cards, but they're even better this year. Um, you know, you go through you got your all star cards, you got your colored ones, you got the, the one red border just for Bulkvist, you get your blues, where's the Will Cooley, which is really nice, and then you know, you get, you get your updated marquee rookies, guys who don't have young guns yet, you know, Logan Cooley. Uh, excuse me, you know, Patra doesn't have one yet. Coronado's in Series 1. Just a ton of... It, it's just there's a ton of stuff in here. There's there's something in here for everyone. And obviously, you know, this guy's in here too, which, it's, which is the the primary focus. But like, Opeachy, again, is just such a wide spectrum of potential and things to collect. Like, even if you take this away, that was still a great box. Like, Super happy with the hits, super happy with some of the extra stuff. Like, I know I got a J-Rob in here somewhere, but uh, where is that? But anyway, yeah, it is It is nice, though, when you get something like this. It, it makes a good box a great box, or a great box an amazing, and into an, into an amazing box, excuse me. But yeah, anyway, so that's basically, I definitely have to end off with this. It's Bedard. What, what can I say? I can't, I can't, I can't deny it that much, right? Just hope he comes back soon. Hope, you know. He can carry Chicago uh, for the rest of the season and then into the future. But yeah, that's it for now. Thank you all for watching. Uh, next time will be the other two boxes. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to delay because 
given how this one went, I definitely can't wait to see how the next two go. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Later.